Hello everyone, welcome to Exademy. My name is Prabhash Kumar and I'm teaching you engineering mathematics. In this engineering mathematics, we are into the first chapter, which is basic concepts of engineering mathematics. And in this basic concepts of engineering mathematics, we are in the first topic that is your elementary algebra. This is lesson number five. So today we'll be seeing mean values, summation and series. So as you can see that we have already covered the videos on powers and roots, the, all these chapters we have already covered, logarithms, binomial theorem, sequences and mean values, summation and series. I had told you that these uh, sequences, mean values, summation and series are very, very small, very, very short. So what I'm doing is I'm clubbing all these topics in one. So today we'll be seeing this mean values, summation and series. So let's start. So let's talk what is about the mean values of n real numbers. So let us consider we have some n real numbers, say from a1, a2, a3 and so on. Okay. So we have some n real numbers with us and we are interested to find what is the arithmetic mean, what is geometric mean and harmonic mean. So whenever we it is talked about what to calculate the mean values of any real numbers, then three possibilities do arise. You should ask which mean do I need to calculate, whether I need to calculate my arithmetic mean, I need to calculate my geometric mean or I need to calculate my harmonic mean. So in order to find this arithmetic mean, you have a very simple formula that is a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot 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 plus a n divided by n. So arithmetic mean is also called as your average. Okay, so the arithmetic mean is nothing but your average. So remember this formula, just you need to uh, use this formula for getting the value of this arithmetic mean. Moving to geometric mean, for finding this geometric mean, we have a1, a2, a3, the product of a1, a2, a3 and so on till a n to the power of 1 by n. How do you read this? I read this as this is nth root of the products. Okay, so uh, I had already told you in the powers and roots class that how to root this, what is the significance and what is the meaning of this. Okay, so this is the geometric mean. So geometric mean is nothing but whatever the numbers that are given, you simply need to multiply this and take the nth root. Okay. Now, uh, harmonic mean. Harmonic mean is nothing but just see what is the formula mod modification in this uh, arithmetic mean formula. Arithmetic mean formula is this and you need to simply take the reciprocal of this. Here we have a denominator n. So here this n will come in the numerator and a1 plus a2 plus a3 is in the numerator. So what you need to do, you need to bring this in denominator and take the reciprocal of these. So three types of means we have that is arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean. Okay, moving ahead, these are some standard summation formulas that you need to remember because when we'll be entering into the series problem, you will need all these formulas. Okay, so I'll suggest you to write it uh, so many times and learn it by heart because it will be very helpful for you so for, for solving aptitude problems. So sum of first and natural numbers. You know what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So let us consider we have some n natural numbers and we are interested to find the sum of first and natural numbers. Okay, so the formula that you'll get is n into n plus 1 upon 2. Sum of first and odd natural numbers you'll get as 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 and so on. So the last term will be 2n minus 1 will be equal to n square. So let's say if you want to find the sum of first three odd natural numbers. So first first three odd natural numbers are 1, 3 and 5. If you add these what you'll get 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, so you got the answer as 9. This you can solve this by substituting this formula as well. So I told you to find the sum of first three odd natural numbers. So n value is 3. So put here n is equal to 3, 3 square is 9. So you're getting the value of n this uh, uh, first n natural number, first n odd natural numbers as 9 by uh, this formula as well as the summation with this. Okay. Now moving to some of first and even natural numbers, we have 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on till 2n. You need to add all these even natural numbers. The formula that you'll get is n into n plus 1, right? So simply substitute the value, you'll get the result. Now sum of the squares of first and natural numbers. You need to take some natural numbers, uh, first and natural numbers and take the squares and need to uh, do the summation for this. So 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 plus n square. And this is the formula that is n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1 by 6, okay? The sum of the cubes of first and natural numbers, we have 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube dot 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 n cube, you'll get as n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square. Now, from where all these formulas have come, these are uh, these have come from pure arithmetic. Simply, you need to uh, take the assumption. That means uh, write one row, write right, right second row, then do the summation, addition, and all. But for our our primary focus is just to solve the problem. So from where these all have come, so we are not interested in going deep into that because actually that is that is not required. Our target is to focus on exam and solve the problem and get the number. Okay. So I'll suggest you simply learn all these formulas by 
heart then it will be very easy for you to solve the problems related to aptitude coming to the third topic that is the series problem so uh, uh, we have already seen arithmetic sequence geometric sequence harmonic sequence okay so the series are just the replica of those sequences so arithmetic series geometric series and harmonic series so we will be understanding this more in detail by if we take up the problem okay so when we'll see the questions related to how the questions related to these uh, three types of series are framed it will be very easy for us to understand so okay so i'll be dealing all these questions in the problem course now we are running the uh, concept course so i'll suggest you to kindly go through each and every concept that we have already covered and the concepts which are going about to come okay when uh, when we'll be starting the problem course then i'll be dealing each and every type of problem so don't worry i'll be covering each and every type of problem um, with the help of which that uh, the questions would if you have seen from the playlist the questions we won't be coming apart from that playlist okay so that this assurance i can give you i hope that you like the video and uh, we'll be meeting with um, some other video lectures till then keep learning keep teaching see you in the next lecture bye bye take care